everybody. Oh no, that flash is like going to drive my glasses crazy. <laughs> um, I didn't realize I had the flash on, but since it's on, I guess I might as well leave it on. Hi everybody. Welcome back to my channel. It's an Amber thing. I am Amber. I'm just on my way right now to pick up the boys. Um, so I had a few minutes and I wanted to hop on and say hi and, um, kind of start to talk to you all a little bit about the awakening process and what it means when people talk about awakening. Well, what it means to me and the process that I've gone through. So I'm looking for some parking right now and I'm pulling up right next to my friend. I bet you she's going to hop out and be like, hey, and then I'm going to be like, oh, man, I got to stop my video. Wait, hold on. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to park. Oh, I just kind of did that a little funky. Um, bear with me. Bear with me. Okay. I think we're good. I don't think I'm blocking anybody. I think I'm in here and I'm good. <laughs> Silly. Okay, so the awakening process. So when I started to awaken, um, and it, like I said, it was probably about 15 years ago, and it was kind of a thirst for knowledge. It started with me, um, with a thirst for knowledge. Um, and this happened like a little bit before I came out fully of the Jehovah's Witness organization. Um, I, and it was being a witness and wanting to do research was kind of a catalyst, um, for this process for me. And so I, I started to have questions about certain things, you know, with regards to the organization and I started to do a lot of research. And um, during my research, I just started to come across so many truths. And so I started to kind of be able to see the world in a little bit different way. Um, I, my research about the organization did a lot of good for me, but it opened a lot of other doors. Um, there was a lot of things that I learned about with regards to the Masons, um, and Jehovah's Witnesses, and then, you know, who the Masons are, you know, as a, as a whole, I guess I ch should say. Um, and when I'm talking about the Masons, I'm talking about the Freemasons. I'm talking about, um, you know, the group, the group of, um, people that, um, would be inclusive of the 1% or the people the 13 families who actually, you know, rule the world. Um, I just started to, it, it just like, I started to learn. I started doing a lot of research. Like the internet was amazing. I was like, oh my goodness, you know, this, there's this whole world out here that I know nothing about. And I just started researching and I would get like, you know, the Jehovah's Witnesses, um, and Charles Taze Russell and, um, Rutherford, um, their being a part of the Masons opened that door. And then I started looking into the Freemasons and what they do and what they're about. And that opened other doors for me, um, as far as knowledge was concerned and opening my eyes to a lot of things that I knew absolutely nothing about. Um, and I would encourage you, I would encourage everybody really to, to do some research. There is so much about our world that um, I don't think people really know about. I think now, pe because of the internet, people are starting to know a lot more about what's going on with our government, what's going on with our world. Um, and, you know, like I said, we have the internet to thank for that because before the internet, I mean, we just knew our really locally what was going on unless, you know, like it, it, it was just harder to get more information. 
but I started to really get into um, doing research on music artists and Hollywood and what Hollywood's all about and um, the mafia within Hollywood and how there's a lot of um, it's re it's really sad honestly like how much uh, mind control goes on there's a, a I don't want to call it a program, um, but a system used to program people, and it's called um, MK Ultra. Um, and it, if you look into MK Ultra, it talks to you a lot. Of, I mean, it, it will show you a lot of different things about how how we as people watching television and the stars and things like that how we're being programmed through the program meaning that they have received with um things like mk ultra and um so many other types of things um it's really so very interesting but it looks like i'm gonna have to cut this video short i hate that but my little guys are out and i gotta go and do this so we're i'm gonna i'm gonna hold you know stop it right here but I will be coming back to this it, it gets really interesting I want to talk to you a little bit about the MK um the MK ultra programming and um how how they do that and you know what that's about and this is just all kind of a part of the awakening process that I've been through and these are just for me it was the very beginning stages of opening my eyes and being like oh wow there's a whole nother world out here that I really had no clue about and just really started to throw myself into research about a lot of these things um I better get out because my little guys are waiting for me but I hope you all have a wonderful day sorry the video was so short um little lot said in a little time um hopefully this will spark some interest about moving forward with watching these videos about awakening process um and ah, I gotta go, I gotta go. Okay, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.